Hey guys, we are back here at the PSA party, right? That's what we're gonna call it. And I am with Julia Jones, who you are all very soon going to become extremely familiar with as she joins the Twilight Saga in Eclipse playing Leah Clearwater. This is very exciting. Are you excited about the upcoming movie? Yeah, this is pretty beyond. Um, it's it's like, I don't think it gets more exciting than, than this. I mean, have you already started to like come in contact with fans of yours who, the movie's not even out yet, but people are probably just so excited to find out about you and meet you and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, um, so nobody knows, like, you know, I nobody right. knows who I am, but if they if they find out that I'm a part of it, then of course it's like even just the other day, um, a neighbor of mine, I don't know how she found out, but I was in, getting in my car and she like creeped over and she was like, um, you know, I heard <laughs> my family's coming, would you mind? And they, they were so sweet, they came over and I, I went and like signed their books for them. That kind of a thing randomly happens every now and then and it's it's very nice to be able to make kids smile. It's like whoever knew. So crazy, I know. Now before we really delve into the whole Eclipse Twilight Saga stuff. Um, let's talk about why we're here today. Did Chaske Spencer ask you to come out and just participate in the PSA or what was the story behind that? Yeah, um, Chaske called me and um, I, I was familiar with the situation in South Dakota, but um, he said that he was basically putting together a bunch of people and um, doing a PSA to get the word out because there's not enough help and aid and attention and I don't I don't think that most people even in the states know about what's going on which sadly isn't too surprising but um, I think it's just unbelievable that he was able to get so many people to show up at such short notice and everybody is so excited I mean I walked in here and it was like I, it, oh it was just so, so many people just came PSA party it hello is, it is actually a PSA party yeah. Party. It's really quiet in the other room. That's right. That's right. <laughs> you have to whisper. So, what, what, how did you find out about this? Just through him, or did you find out through the media? Or Actually, I, um, I had been working on a play um, with uh, an actor and an activist named Russell Means, who's sort of very well known, and he, he lives um, in South Dakota on the res, and he's very, very, very involved with the community out there. And he had just sort of mentioned it in passing and you spend so much time with people when you're doing a play, it's like you live with them. And so I think I've, I've gotten a good speech or two about it, about what was happening um, over the, but it's been going on for weeks and I mean, I'm not going to lie, I didn't know about it, and I like to stay up on the news as much as possible. So, I mean, I really hope that what you guys are doing can bring light and shine a light onto what young people out there can do. Yeah, you know? no, definitely. Um, I think these Indian, they're basically nations in a lot of ways, and when, when disaster or something bad happens on them, it's there's not an awareness in mainstream America, and the government doesn't respond, even though they respond to very high profile nations overseas there's just kind of um it's a, it's a it's a unique dynamic and and I don't think that the uh, I don't think there has been a system set up to really um, help out and deal with a lot of tribal issues when they need outside help well, and what I love about this whole thing with you guys here is that it's, and I was telling Chaskay, it's kind of like the wolf pack comes together off screen too. Do you feel that kind of camaraderie? I mean, you're the only girl. What is that like being in a wolf pack full of guys? I know. Um, it, it's like the best feeling ever. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I feel like safe and I feel, you know, it's fun all the time and they're, they, they're, they're goofy and, and they take care of me. I'm like, I feel like the, like the youngest daughter in a family. Like the like the little girl basically. <laughs> so what was it like shooting the movie all together behind the scenes? You guys just have a lot of practical jokes and stuff like that. <laughs> I mean, again, you're spending so much time with each other. You're living together and working together, and um, I think I think that there were there were times where you, it, it's so familial that you want to like wring their neck sometimes because yes. they're like leather and they're partying and they want to borrow your hair products and all this stuff you know who <laughs> wanted to borrow hair products I need to know <laughs> I think that well actually I will tell you it was Alex just like came he just I don't know he just thought at some point that there was not even I mean, he just, just appeared at my door whenever and he was looking for some hair product that I didn't have and then Chesque appeared and he had it so <laughs> boys just need a little bit of pomade you can't yeah, you can't hate but, that uh, <laughs> oh my goodness. 
So what's next for you? You're working on a play. Um, hopefully, you know, we'll be seeing Breaking Dawn. Do you know anything about Breaking Dawn that we wouldn't know? No, I don't. You guys probably know a lot more about it than I do. I'm waiting to. Um, yeah, I, I um, finished working on this play a couple weeks ago, and I just wrapped a movie called Jonah Hex playing um, Josh Brolin's wife, and it's pretty, it's very cool. It's a comic book movie with Megan Fox and John Malkovich, and I'm, I'm psyched about that, too. You have a bright career, it sounds like. A very exciting six months, and we shall see what happens now. <laughs> because, um, you know, you just, you never... Straight to the top. No, and now I'm, like, unemployed again, so... <laughs> no, really. <laughs> so what are you doing in your free time besides PSAs? I ha haven't quite... No, yeah, I mean, that's part. I haven't quite figured it out, and I haven't quite established free time yet. I think I still, like, um, the past week or so have just been trying to catch up on all the, like, life businessy things that I didn't get to do over the past six months. So, but I, I you know, this is the first time that I've not been working, and, and, and so you kind of, I remember Alex used to talk about, he used this phrase, like, your new norm, and that's sort of what it, I feel like I'm discovering now is, like, whatever my new norm is. Like, you know, when you're not working, but you're in your life, and my life is so different now that it's my new norm. So <laughs> Constantly changing, I'm sure. Constantly, yeah. I mean, it's, it's very, if nothing else, it's really exciting. And I just, um, I'm so happy that the people that um, I've gotten to work with and the people that are here tonight are who they are because I just, I'm so fond of them all. As are we. How can we keep up with you? Are you on Twitter, Facebook, any of that stuff? That is not yet a part of my new norm. Although I have like, people are we're trying, convincing, trying to convince me, but I don't know, Twitter is, I, I'm not much of a techie, and so I will probably take So if you see a Twitter with her, her name out it there, it's not, not her. Me. Yes, no. <laughs> it is not, not me. Well, thank you so much for being here. What you're doing is really, really great. Great that you're covering it. And we can't wait to see you in Eclipse, the girl in the wolf pack. And of course, Clever TV will keep you posted on all things Twilight Saga.